Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how we can differentiate a pair of parametric equations and as usual I'll timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can just skip through to say an exam question at the end if you want. And so for this video it's going to be useful if you're already familiar with the basics of parametric equations and also how to differentiate something using the chain rule. So if you're unfamiliar with that I'll link the videos I've made on that in the description. And so let's start off with the most basic thing, which is how do we actually find the derivative? So say we've been given our pair of parametric equations. We've got x equals some function of t, where t is our parameter, and y equals some other function of t, where again, t is our parameter. How can we find dy by dx? Because that's our derivative. Well, it's actually pretty easy to do, right? So we want to find dy by dx. Well, we could find the derivative of x with respect to t, we could also find the derivative of y with respect to t, right? So say we first find the derivative of y with respect to t. Now, if we think about the chain rule, what do I need to multiply this by to take me to dy by dx? Well, I need to multiply it by dt by dx, right? And so you might be thinking, okay, that's good, but how can we find dt by dx? Well, that is also pretty easy to do. Say we calculate the derivative of x with respect to t, so we find dx by dt. Well, if I do one divided by that, so I take the reciprocal, we do one divided by dx by dt, well, then that gives me dt by dx, okay? So let's rewrite this equation that we've got for the formula for dy by dx, let's rewrite it. So we could say now, well, dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by one over the derivative of x with respect to t. And because we're multiplying them, let's just put them as one fraction. So we get, well, dy by dx is going to be equal to derivative of y with respect to t divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. And so because we're doing one divided by the other, we could just write it like this. We could say, well, dy by dx, that's going to be equal to the derivative of y with respect to t divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. Okay, and that's how you'll probably most commonly see this formula written at A level. So now let's use it to answer some questions. So the first question we're going to answer is, well, we've been given the pair of parametric equations, x equals t cubed plus 1 and y equals 2t, and we want to find the derivative. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the derivative of x with respect to t. So I'm going to find dx by dt, which is just going to be 3t squared. And I'm also going to find the derivative of y with respect to t, which is just going to be equal to 2. And now, using my formula, we can find dy by dx. And that's equal to, well, the derivative of y with respect to t, which is just 2. So that's going to be equal to 2, divided by the derivative of x with respect to t, which is just 3t squared. And this here is our derivative. So it's pretty easy, right? So let's now look at a slightly trickier question. Okay, so this one's a bit trickier. We need to calculate the derivative of the pair of parametric equations x equals 2 theta and y equals cosec squared of theta. And then we need to go on to find the derivative at a certain point, okay? Now, to make this a bit easier, I've written down the derivative of cosec of theta for us, so we don't need to think about it. So let's start off by finding dx by d theta. So dx by d theta, that's really easy. That's just equal to 2. And how about the derivative of y with respect to theta? Well, to calculate this, I'm going to use the chain rule, okay? And so I'm going to say, well, my fun I'm going to let u equal cosec of theta. And I'm going to let y now be equal to u squared, okay? So we're going to find the derivative of u, and we've been given that that's negative cosec of theta multiplied by cot of theta. And the derivative of y is equal to 2u. Multiplying them together will give me the derivative dy by d theta, okay? And so if I multiply them, we're going to get negative cosec theta cot of theta multiplied by two lots of cosec theta. And this will just simplify to negative two cosec squared theta multiplied by cot theta, okay? And so now we can find the derivative dy by dx. So we want to find dy by dx. And so to do that, we take the derivative of y with respect to theta, which is negative 2 cosec squared theta cot theta. And then we divide all of that by dx by d theta, which is 2. And obviously the 2s will cancel out. And so we get negative cosec squared theta multiplied by cot theta. Okay, and that is our derivative. So pretty easy, right? So now let's find, answer the second part. We need to find the derivative at the point x equals 1, y equals 
So how can we do that? Because our derivative is just in terms of theta, okay? And so what we could do is, well, we know that at x is equal to one at that point, okay? So let's substitute that in for our equation of x, rearrange to find that value of theta. And so we get that one is gonna be equal to two theta, okay? Dividing both sides by two, we get that theta is gonna be equal to one over two. And so if I calculate my derivative at theta is equal to a half, that will tell me the derivative at the point one, 4.35, okay? And so all I'm gonna do is substitute in here, theta equals one half. And if I do that, I'm gonna get that our derivative dy by dx is gonna be equal to negative 7.96, so say two decimal places. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and share, and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.